Welcome friends, I'm Black Flag Civilian, and today we're answering the age-old question, what is the range of a Baofeng radio? In this video, you'll see for yourself how far away you can reach your friend on a stock Baofeng radio with a rubber ducky antenna. Then we're going to push it to the limit and see how far we can make these things talk. Now disclaimer up front, if you already know a little bit about radio, you know that this is only relevant to my environmental conditions, my terrain, on the day that I do this test. So why make this video at all? Well, the secret sauce of this video is teaching you how you can extend your radio's range just by playing with the power settings, upgrading your antenna, or raising that antenna up off the ground. This matters because the farther away you can reach your friends, the better you can keep your people informed, safe, and connected. Whether that's for a protest, responding to a natural disaster, or just checking in on your neighbors. So sure, the exact results will be different where you live. But the trends that you see here should carry over to just about any handheld radio in just about any environment. Okay, so here are the particulars of today's radio test. My buddy Fraz and I are going to be communicating on two Baofeng UV5R radios on 146 megahertz. That's right in the middle of the ham VHF frequencies. He's going to stop every half mile and transmit to me from his UV5R four times. First, he's going to key up on low power, about 2 watts, using the stock rubber duck antenna. Second, he's going to switch up to 5 watts, high power, and transmit again. For the third transmission, we're going to switch from the rubber duck antenna to a roll-up J-pole antenna. And finally, for the fourth transmission, we're going to take this roll-up J-pole antenna and raise it about 15 to 20 feet off the ground. We're going to see how all these different factors affect the range of our UV5R. And as far as how we're going to judge the clarity of each transmission, you'll hear each transmission yourself on video. But when I go back and edit this video, I'm going to give each transmission a score from zero, no message received at all, through five, a loud and clear message with minimal static. After the test is complete, I'll input all those ratings into a spreadsheet and hopefully we can identify some trends in the spreadsheet that help us learn something about radio communication range. All right, let's hit the trail. Okay, here I am with my good friend Fraz at an undisclosed location in the Mid-Atlantic. I have my humble UV5R with a rubber ducky antenna, and behind me I have a roll-up antenna and a way to get that roll-up antenna about 20 feet in the air. Fraz has the same. Let's get to it. Bye, Fraz. While Fraz rides out to half a mile, I'd like to put a few words on the record about accepted radio wisdom. It's a meme in the ham radio world that if you want to get the max possible range from your handheld radio, height is king. More on that later. But on the other side of the spectrum, if you read through posts on radio forums, you'll see people say that power, or wattage, isn't as important as you think. Today, we're comparing these common forum refrains against real world results. Can you take me higher? to a place where blind men see. Can you take me higher to a place where blind men see? Can you take me higher to a place where blind men see? Can you take me higher to a place where blind men see? Now we got Fraz at one mile. I'm going home to the place where I belong. I'm going home to the place where I belong. I'm going home to the place where I belong. I'm going home to the place where I belong. Quick word on terrain. Fraz is riding his bike down a nature trail that closely parallels a river. It's relatively flat, but there is a lot of heavy vegetation separating us. Depending on your terrain, you may have less range, or potentially much more. All right, now we have Fraz transmitting from one and a half miles. What I really meant to say is that I'm sorry for the What I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold. What I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold. What I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way I am. I never meant to be so cold. Come on. 
Now we've got Fraz at two miles. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. And now we have Fraz at two and a half miles. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. Now we have Fraz at three miles. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on him. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. And now we have Fraz at three and a half miles. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Yeah. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Yeah. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Yeah. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Yeah. Now we have Fraz at four miles. With arms wide open under the sunlight. 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 And that concludes our test, friends. Let's break it down. We looked at three main factors that can impact the range of a handheld radio such as the Baofeng UV5R. Boosting the power output from 2 watts to 5 watts, upgrading from the stock rubber duck antenna to a quality roll-up J-pole, and elevating that antenna up off the ground about 15 to 20 feet in the air. Out of those three, the antenna upgrade had the biggest impact by far. Just switching from the stock ducky to the Ed Fong J-Pole doubled the range, even when that J-Pole was sitting at ground level. I'll put a non-affiliate link for the antenna in the video description below. I've had success with these antennas for years, so they get a big recommend from me. Anyway, our two other factors, boosting power and raising the antenna, helped too. They didn't extend the range as much as switching antenna. What those few extra watts and the extra 15 to 20 feet of elevation did for us was improve the clarity of a message that was already getting through. That said, you have a ceiling for how far you can push power. Your handheld maxes out at 5 watts, maybe 8 watts. But elevation, that's a different story. We only used 20 feet in this test, really more like 15 feet on Fraz's end. That didn't even get us over the canopy of the woods. If you can get your antenna, or the radio itself, up 50 feet, 200 feet, 2,000 feet, then you can extend your range to 5 miles, 10 miles, potentially 30 miles or more. More on that in the conclusion, by the way. But one big lesson that I want you to take away from this test, all of these improvements stack. Upping wattage, upgrading antenna, getting that antenna as high off the ground as possible. These changes working together will be more effective than any one factor by itself. Speaking of which, I actually regret not asking Fraz to boost his radio to 5 watts when we failed to make that connection at 4 miles. Since all these factors stack, that little bit more power may have been all Fraz's radio needed to break the squelch on my radio. 
Well, at least we have something to test for next time. But I digress. The bottom line here, you don't need a massive, expensive, 200 watt base station radio to communicate with your neighbors and other loved ones. Just take a 15 or $20 Baofeng, upgrade your antenna, raise it up high, and you can reach people for miles, even in rough terrain. All right, now it's time to wrap up, but stick around for one final test. I just wanted to emphasize how important antenna height is when it comes to these handheld radios that communicate using line of sight frequencies. Here I am on top of a proud but modest Appalachian mountain, and my girlfriend is about 10 miles away in the valley behind me. Okay, babe, go for it. Hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge, and I'm thinking maybe six feet ain't so far down. Thanks, babe. Is that really all you needed? Yeah, you can go home now. I'll see you in a bit. Off-grid communication. Loud and clear at 10 miles on a couple of $15 radios. To be fair with me on a mountaintop, these are ideal conditions, but nonetheless, it's powerful stuff. It can keep your neighborhood connected in the wake of a natural disaster. It can keep your medic team connected in a chaotic protest environment. It can keep your friends connected on a backcountry camping trip far away from cell phone service. Sure, it's fun to get out here and do these tests, but these radios are more than just a hobby. These things are real tools that can help you and your neighbors take care of each other when things fall apart. If you learned something here, please like this video and subscribe to Black Flag Civilian here on YouTube. And if you want to learn more skills to make your community stronger, check out the Black Flag Civilian Subscribe Star, where you can become a member of the BFC Discord server. It'll be linked in the video description. And that's all I got today. Short video by my standards, but nonetheless, thank you for sticking around. Until next time, take care of each other. What I really meant to say, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>